Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the week. Now who says lightning doesn't strike twice, or three times, or four times, or five times, etc., etc., in a row? Well, anyways, this sort of proves it. Now you see here we have some nice sterling silver. Now I got it from the Salvation Army thrift store. I was going through the store like usual and um, checked out their bucket of cutlery. So I start looking, you know, most of the times I don't see anything, but this time I saw this and I thought, oh, very fancy. I think it's called like camphor leaf or something like that. Look at that. Well, anyways, when I saw this, I thought, okay, cool, fancy silver plated cutlery. But when I flipped it over, I think this is where they missed it. Typically, all right, it just looks like, uh, you know, silver plated markings because just the way it's stamped and so small, but when you look closely, look at this. All right, that's the Canadian silver hallmark. Instead of a lion, I think it's like a dragon or something in a sea. Uh, it says Wallace. Yeah, Wallace Sterling tiny tiny letters so easy to miss but you could hear it it's just harsh quality uh anyways once i saw that and it said sterling i started to go through that bin like with a fine tooth comb uh, anything with this um pattern i was like Taking them out, you know, like as if my life depended on it. So let's see what we have. We have six salad forks, five hefty dinner forks, one soup spoon, one tablespoon, a baby food pusher. It's not even um, made by Wallace, but it was in there, so I took it anyways. So let's see, Burke's Sterling, All right? Nice Canadian brand. All right, so nice food pusher. You know, you push the food off the plate into the baby's mouth back in the day. Cool, I always wanted one. And we have six Sterling handled knives. Now, don't, overlook the knives because you're thinking, okay, hollowed, handled, you know, it's just the handles that are sterling. But from what I learned, from what I read, that each handle is roughly half an ounce of silver. Even when you take out all the, like the filler material inside, I think it's like some sort of featherweight cement or um, plaster or something. But uh, yeah, nice pattern. And it's even marked on the blade. All right, let's see here. Wallace Stainless, and I think Sterling is somewhere on here. Like Sterling Handle. Well, I did see it somewhere. I will look for it. Um, Anyways, take my word for it. I think I read it somewhere along the handle. It said Sterling Handle. But it was part of the set. Couldn't leave it behind anyways. Um, because even though it's not a complete set, you know, like, after I found these, I was thinking, where are the tablespoons? Where are the teaspoons? Um, you know, I'm just happy to find what I found. So it would be neat if I had, like, a full set. But this is close enough to a full set, you know, and counting the handles as like 15 grams, or let's say half an ounce of silver each, um, I have over 600 grams. So in Canadian dollars, it's sort of hovering around $600 Canadian value in sterling, which is a pretty decent haul. And with a coupon, I got 20% off. So it worked out to be like, I think with taxes, like 35 bucks. So pretty good haul 
600 bucks worth of silver, nice set um, for like 35 bucks. And later in the week, I went to the local Value Village store, Value Village, um, found some sterling. Uh, not as much as this stuff, but check this out. Still left in the bag, so you guys can discover it with me. Um, $3.99. Looks like a whole bunch of stuff here. What's interesting is... Let me see. It's, it's only one good piece in there anyways. But I did the math, and 4 bucks for one good piece is good enough for me. I guess I was there at the right time, right place in the right time to get it before people snagged it. All right, so let's see, is it this piece? All right, I'm just discovering it at the same time as you. Well, actually, I looked through the bag, but all right. Who's splitting hairs? All right. All right, I did find the piece I wanted to find. So this is pretty old. So we got the line here. We got the London leopard head here. A mark, the date mark. And we got a young Queen Elizabeth, or sorry, not Elizabeth, Queen Victoria. So that's the tax mark, which is usually the really old stuff that has the tax, like the last mark, the fourth mark. But without even looking up this A mark, which I could get the exact date, going by the young Victoria head, we're talking about like 1830s, I think, 1830s, 1840s, roughly, um, maybe even 50s. But, uh, all right, so don't quote me on it. I'm just uh, giving you approximate year or age. So this is pretty antique-y and it's sterling. I like it. All the rest is just plated stuff that I will donate. I guess donate or try to sell. I mean, the, these look pretty old, but they're just silver plate. You see this plating is wearing off on this. Yeah, just painted this stuff too. So, yeah, let's put this off the side. Next bag, $7.99. Now this one, all right. At first, I thought, oh, you know, like someone ripped open the bag, like harshly ripped open the bag in, in the store. So I'm thinking, you got a lot of silver thieves at the Value Village at the location I went to. It was uh, sort of like the... You can say sort of the rough part of town. And amazing, amazing. All right, first of all, I thought, it doesn't look like they took anything out. Look, there's so much stuff for $7.99. But amazing. Maybe they just have bad eyes. But the biggest piece in the whole bag, it's sterling. Ouch. All right. Got a little sterling crazy there. All right, so check this out. Nice big serving spoon, pretty hefty. At least, at least 50 grams, if not more, maybe even 70 grams. Really cool Art Nouveau pattern. I think it's an Art Nouveau, you know, with all the flowers and, you know. Well, anyways, let's check this out. All right, as big as day, even through the bag, you can see. Bright as day, I should say. Sterling, boom, right in the middle. So whoever was trashing the bag did not see this. Who knows, maybe I lost. I don't say I lost, I mean the store lost. Maybe there was like a little obvious sterling spoon in there and whoever ripped open the bag didn't think this was sterling. So it really pays, what they say, the devil is in the detail. So it really pays to check every marking before you think, oh, it's been ripped open, no good. All right, so one of the best finds there. The rest are, don't worry, I did check them all. Uh, the rest are silver plated. And this lone spoon, serving spoon, is coin silver. It has quite a bit of age, 499. 
it's not marked sterling and it's not marked coin, but I did look up the maker and this is one of their early spoons because the name changed over the years. But look at this, it's been engraved. What's that, F-A-B? Really nice, early American. Nothing wearing through the bottom or the back. You know, usually the silver plated stuff, eventually there's like brass coming through or other types of metal. But uh, check this out. The name is J. Dean. What's that? Oh, it's too small for me. Let me look that up. Come on. Holly, Holly, H A W L E Y. And that name changed over the years with partners and whatnot. H and S, I believe it says. But uh, yeah, looks like coin silver, feels like coin silver. Pretty cool old maker's mark on the back. Of course, I did my online research, and this is probably, as far as I remember, um, probably early, early 1820s, 1820s, 1830s. Well, pretty cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Pretty cool. And of course, you can't forget about the uh, souvenir spoons, $6.99, you got a whole bunch of them, but right, I would only pay if there was multiple spoons in here. $6.99, a little bit on the pricey side for silver plates, but lo and behold, there are some sterling spoons in here, just two. And you know what, if I save enough of these plated, um, silver plated spoons, I do get about a buck or yeah about a buck each if I lot them up I sold a bunch a while back to a local buyer so recouped a lot of my money but the two here are as old as well almost as old as these well I, I don't know maybe not that old but let's see if you can spot them all right by elimination this is not sterling no, oh, it's cool though. Is that 1983 Christmas? This is not sterling. 25th anniversary. Nope. Is this sterling? No, but it says Manning Park, Canada. Cool. See that bear? And is this sterling? Nope. When it says like International Silver IS or Rogers, it's no good. Or on, in Oneida. Right. Is this Sterling? No. Is this Sterling? What's it say here? Timberline Lodge, Mount Hood, Oregon. We are somewhat close to that to Oregon, Oregon, hard to say that. Right. That leaves these two spoons, are they sterling? Yes, they are. All right, so when you get all this like enameling, you know it's like turn of the century, like 18 something, 1890s, 1910, 1915, around that, you know, time period. And they always like to put indigenous, you know, people like designs on it. Sort of reminds you like um, the cigar store statues back in that time period. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. Uh, so I like these designs, very, very different of a bygone era. Not so PC to do that kind of stuff anymore. But, you know, this is just, just 
it's history. So just looking at it on a historical point of view. It says City Hall, Toronto. Now that must be the old City Hall because it looks nothing like that now. And uh, I'm on the West Coast, so I don't live anywhere near Toronto. I'm on the other side of the country, but um, I think it was like rebuilt. It looks more like a condo, like a huge giant condo building tower. Um, this looks more like London, like Big Ben. Very British back in the day, I guess. And it says here, oops, my favorite word, Sterling. 925, there's even a lion at the end. Pretty cool design. And next, we have this coat of arms. It's probably the coat of arms of Canada at one time. Because we have like, um, what's it, the British flag there, the sort of part of it. Um, pretty sure there's a beaver somewhere there. And what does the bowl say? Hamid, Hamidat, Hamidta, Hamidta, Manitoba. That is in Canada. And oops, reading it upside down. Sterling. Hoo hoo. All right. So, yeah, this, no thank you. This, yeah, A okay. These two pieces. So, People always ask me, what do you do with your sterling? And what I always answer them, I always say, keep it. I like, I like my silver and uh, the prices are not high enough for me to tempt me into selling even a piece of silver. So this will go into my hoard, all of this. You know what, when silver is like a hundred bucks an ounce, maybe, maybe I'll sell some, but uh, pretty cool. Got them all at a great price. Check that out. Sterling, coin silver, sterling, sterling. I was just telling my friend the other day, I mean, this is somewhat like this occurrence of finding sterling is somewhat regular for me, not trying to toot my own horn, but it gets to the point where I have to find either a huge lot of sterling or something high value like gold to get the th same thrill as I once did. I can, oh, sorry. Imagine, long, long time ago, if you watch my original videos like from years ago, I would have been super happy just finding like one of these spoons out of like a bucket of these spoons, you know, in a week. You know, I'd be, I would have been thrilled. But now, you know, it's like, I keep on upping at the, the ante, you know, like, it takes me a lot more, like a greater find to get all like, hoo hoo. And then my friend goes, well, well, if that's the case, next time you see something like this, just let me know. You know, I tell her, I still like silver, regardless if it's just a few pieces. I'm just saying that the feeling is just a little bit different. It's not just as exciting, but I still like the stuff, right? Anyways. I will take even the smallest piece. Well, there's still silver out there for everyone to find. Just keep your eyes open and always read the details. Look at the details. And sometimes the details are not that obvious and you have to sort of do a little detective work like this coin silver. Google with your smartphones, Google the names, You know, find out what the companies were famous for, if they were famous for sterling, then highly unlikely they were doing silver plates. Not 100%, but you know, just sometimes you gotta take a little risk. But yeah, pretty good haul. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.